Hi, I'm back to Manny Motion. I'm Evan. And I'm Dom. And today we're gonna take this Ineos Grenadier to, well, it's already here, it's already causing coffee. Let's go. But first, Dom, you tell us the stats. So today we have a three liter straight six with a single turbo pushing out 282 horsepower, 332 pound-feet of torque through a ZF 8-speed transmission. And this thing is just, this is so cool. This is actually, so it is our first Ineos we've ever seen in person. Ineos is a small company based in Britain. Uh, this thing is built in France, first time in America being sold. Um, this is a pre-production model we got our hands on somehow. Yeah, this is insane. It's, this is an opportunity of a lifetime. So right now we are at Hayfield's Cars and Coffee and this thing, it, it, every, everything is awesome here. Great turnout, it's the first of the month, it's November. People, and this is this is still stands out though, which I yeah, think is so cool. It really does. This actually is like, what is, I love the color of this too. The styling of this is so boxy and yeah. evokes like the G-Wagon, the old Defenders. Yeah, exactly, yeah. That, that same guy, the ethos. Ethos. That ethos of yeah. the luxury the, uh, off-roader. The sales rep who's here with it actually told us the, the actual owner of the company Ineos wanted of the Defender so bad that he just sort of built his own company to make Defenders like lookalikes, yeah. uh, but better, obviously. So yeah. um, we're gonna drive around here, around the area, and uh, come on, let's go. All right. So we are in the Ineos Grenadier. This is the first car that we've never seen before that we're yeah. from. Like never online, never any. Oh my God. Oh my God, <laughs> what the heck is this? It's a, so okay. You can't see it from where you're looking, but there is a huge switch panel. It's a metal. Yeah. And you get to like a bunch of like plastic buttons on here. You There's have different differential locks, off-road modes. You have all your different assistance. Off-road assistance, exterior lights, interior lights. Then we move down. We got a north, south, east, west. Yeah, like compass. Our elevation. Dashboard. This dashboard's so cool. It looks it's rugged but nice. Yeah, I feel like this thing. You can just get in dirty, muddy boots. Yeah. Just like. I don't know Whatever what's going to be on your hands, but you can just like go all over this. Just <laughs> da da da. Because all the buttons here are big. Yeah. They're nice oh, and like they're, and they're huge. easy to push. They feel good to push too. They actually feel very. Um, <laughs> the uh, uh, this pole panel here looks really great. Has a lot of features on it, but also looks really rugged. Yeah. And the whole theme of this car is very rugged, very like yes, fender It really is. Um, and definitely comes through, especially even like in the styling of the. But it, it's console. got luxury where you want it. I mean, I can already tell, but like. Everything's this is very a low rugged. volume manufacturer. Like nothing's rattling or shaking. Like this all feels super solid put together. Yeah. I'm really shocked. Oh I God, was expecting the... this to be a little bit kind of weird Look because how far it was... away the visors are. Oh yeah, the visors are also huge. Oh my god, it feels so far away. Oh my god. I love the roof line in this. I feel I feel like I'm in an old defender, but like, like new I'm interior. In a... Yeah. Infotainment screen. Yeah. Uh it's not on right now, but we can see it's pretty clear. Looks looks decent. Actually it has our Speedo and everything on the left side, uh, like, kind of like a Tesla a little bit. Yeah. Doesn't have a, there's no gauge cluster in this car. Yeah, if you, so if you look down here, you also have a very out of place looking BMW shifter. <laughs> it's so overt. All the rugged, BMW. all the rugged <laughs> buttons and all that, and then BMW. So obviously, low volume manufacturer, they're not going to be building all this stuff themselves. It makes no sense to. Yeah. So this is borrowed straight from BMW. Totally fine. Uh, next to it though, we have a the <laughs> high, high, low. low lock high low lock like big chunky yeah thing that's so cool that's that's for the transmission <laughs> that's for the tra yeah for the trails too yeah so this is trails. a very serious it's a very trail vehicle yeah a lot of a lot of very unique tech sorry we keep seeing cars yeah we keep seeing we <laughs> we're in, the we're car the car the guy thing. adhd is going off just you know um but we have a real handbrake as well yeah. these seats are really nice cool. too feel that whoa there's this thing in the center really nice to push this is obviously to control your infotainment screen. Because um, it's not a touch screen. Uh, it might be. Who knows? Maybe it's not. We'll start. We're going to start it up. Steering wheel. Nice. First time holding it. I've never touched it before. It is... It's big. It's, it feels like a BMW steering wheel in a way. It's nice and thick. But it's kind of what you want. I don't want one of my sports cars. I want it in my trucks. Yeah. In my like badass off-roader. I want this sort of steering wheel feel. What's the little toot button? To it has a bicycle on it? <gasps> oh, that's the horn. He was telling us about it. Oh, okay. That's what it is. So, so basically, <laughs> this thing has two horns. One's a little toot, and one's a train horn. So we... Uh, yeah, but all the buttons no, are nice that. and big. Obviously, like, very clearly meant to, like, be wearing gloves with it or something. Yeah. Um, feels very nice. Oh, listen to that. Ooh. Although, everything in this car is, like, satisfying to push and to touch. Yeah. It's really... 
It really like, is. I am so shocked because everything looks rugged. So you can see all the exposed bolts here. This um, thing must be so easy to work oh, on. Oh, that's a great sound. What's on your side? You have a hand, you have a grab handle. And I have a, a grab box. handle and a glove box and nothing else. And it's pretty bare bones, but like the doors all feel very nice. Yeah, even the back seats of this thing are actually pretty big. There's yeah. a lot of space in here. I have a lot of space in front, but even in the back. A lot of headroom. A lot of headroom, a lot of headroom in the back. You'll see us climbing back there right now. We'll show some footage. It's got like this awesome design to it. And actually has like a bench seat so you can fit three people back there. Uh, apparently plans for a seven seater coming out soon. Don't know. Who knows? I don't know. Uh, but we have like all great materials. Same materials as up front back there. They didn't sheep out back there. Yeah. It looks really great. Uh, oh, it's actually there were caros. That's, that makes sense. <laughs> that, man, that attracts. That attracts. <laughs> the door, the doors feel good. Every material everything, in this car. Everything feels great. I mean, like for seventy grand, you right. kind of want something nice, but not too nice. Seventy grand isn't like insane for some of these like custom offers you can buy. Yeah, this is a really reasonable price for this thing. I mean, we um, were talking to someone who actually has a Defender One Ten, and they were like, yeah. "This thing is half the price for a perfect one." <laughs> like, that's pretty. Honestly, yeah, so far so good. So Even the back seats feel very good. They're in this like yeah. cool cloth so we have in here this is the trail master version of this car we also have yeah. the um like utilitarian seats this can come with leather and can come in like a saddle brown which i really like cool. the utilitarian utilitarian seats. feels good they feel great Dude, they're bolstered they're both well this is a, i mean if you're going to be shaken off road you, you don't want to be, be thr the <laughs> thrown into the passengers um, but everyone just probably sees this car shaking and it's like what are they doing <laughs> yeah right yeah, yeah everyone, exactly, there's a ton of people outside. our compass is moving <laughs> we are moving. Um, but no, I mean, everything, yeah, feels great. Uh, I'm really excited to drive it. I'm, also, I'm so excited to drive it. So we're going to have a little bit different setup. Yeah. It's just going to be Evan and the sales rep, Michael, and then we're going to switch, and it's going to be me and the sales rep, Michael, because yeah. he needs to be in the car at all times, and we need to stay with our car that we're posting after this. Yeah. You guys, you won't believe what we drove next. You guys will flip. Just please stick around for I mean, I, I keep looking at it. We're sticking it is, around. Oh, it's so cool oh, sitting over so there. Good. Guys, I'm serious. You've got to stick around for it. It's If you like any car, if you're a car person at all, you have to stick around because it's insane. I think we should give him a hint. What's the hint? Darth Vader. That may be too vert of a hint. I think that, I think that right. works. I think that works. Yeah, the key. Um, uh, yeah, here, the key. <laughs> the key is a folding key. <laughs> It's basically a Lamborghini Murcielago, four-wheel drive, a key. Yeah, except not like anything that at all. <laughs> but yeah, it's so a hand we're not going to start right now because we haven't asked permission yet. Exactly. But here's us starting it up. Hey, all right, we're back. This is Michael. Hey, guys. Hey, thanks a lot for bringing it up, man. Of course. This is so sick. Yeah, anytime. Um, first of all, key. Here we go. Flip key. Start it up. Nice old school it. feel. Love the old school feel. Yeah. Over the side. And then one more click and then boom. All right. Oh, you just saw all the lights come up on the dash. That's yes, super exactly. cool. So parking brake is on. Parking brake is on, yep. yep. The mechanical parking brake. And <laughs> manual seats. Manual seats, yes. Love it. All uh, right. It has a purpose, actually. So the whole yep. interior has drain, plug, drain plugs. So pretty much if it gets really dirty from off-roading, you're able to take out the mats and just spray down the interior and everything drains out. Really? So That's trying awesome. to limit all the mechanics and the electricals and stuff like that. I guess that makes sense. This is a very serious off-roader. Right. This is exactly. going to be yeah used exactly. by a lot of people to get really dirty. and. Exactly. All right. How do you... Uh, do you so, put back into the drive? Yep. Oh, it's probably the side thing, right? Oh, yeah, I think you gotta press the side yeah. button. Yeah, All right. exactly. Well, here we go. So the frame and chassis are very independent. Yeah, um, so tell me more about like how they, what the construction is behind this car. So it's a ladder steel frame mm. um, with an independent chassis and solid beam axles. So pretty much it's designed to be, to have the, the frame be able to move independently from the actual body, mm -hmm. um, which makes it feel very solid. Um, and at the same time, it's designed to the point where if one side, the wheel is up, it's going to push the other side down to maintain as much traction as possible. Got it. Um, and then it, this car does have front and rear differential locks. Um, yeah, on the, on the top here. On the on top the, here, on yep. the ceiling. Yep. So if you ever awesome. are in need of more traction, that's always an option. Um, but then, see, you know, you have all your old school retro feel with all your, you know, switches and stuff like that. Um, but you also get all the modern day creature comforts like wireless Apple CarPlay. Yeah, um, I see it up here. It's really nice. Yeah. Screen's clear too. Yeah. You can option like heated seats and stuff like that, which would go down here. Um, you know, air conditioning, you got the start stop feature, parking brake or parking assist um, sensors, stuff like that. Mm. Um, so it's kind of meant to be like a like a mix of uh, just modern and retro feel, which I think is pretty cool and unique. 
that is certainly unique, and it does have the style for it. It looks excellent on the yeah. outside. Yeah. Um, and definitely for like in terms of driving experiences, this does feel already pretty like old school. The mm -hmm. steering wheel, the steering ratio seems to be very long. Like I can turn the wheel quite a bit, and it will just sort of glide the car into the corners. Yes. And I probably should have mentioned before you started, but the steering yeah. is definitely very heavy. Um, it's. I feel it's light actually. Well, it's, it's. You know, most people are used <laughs> to uh, you being able to turn the wheel with their pinky. You know, you really. Sure, this is sure. more of a two hand like a hands-on driving experience. Steering rack is definitely very interesting in this car. Yeah. Um, but the ride is actually quite smooth. It does, it, obviously the, we're on some pretty heavy off-road tires. It right. doesn't feel, it does feel, you could feel a little bit more than maybe you would on like some street tires, right? Yeah. Um, but definitely like, it's what you want if you're going on crazy trails and stuff. 100%. Yeah. And uh, you know, this, this one has the steel wheels, uh, but you can option 18-inch uh, alloy wheels. Um, yeah, yeah. And those ones are, you, I mean, you're able to spec both the, the off-road tires or the street tires on both, but the street tires are still all-terrain tires and they're meant to, you know, you can still do pretty much all the same stuff that these off-road tires can do. They're taking some corners, it feels very confident. I'm gonna put my foot down a little yes, bit more. Yes, it does. <laughs> it sounds good. It, it sounds sound like a good. truck. It's a burr. Yeah, you, know. and you can hear the turbo a little bit too when you let off, which is cool. Yeah, that's a good turbo sound to it. Yeah. Yeah, you hear a little, little whistle yeah, there. Yeah, exactly, it's awesome. Exactly. I love the visibility in this car. You have a ton of visibility out the back, even though you have a rear tire mm -hmm. on there. The mm -hmm. Full size spare. Really yep. cool. Yep. Uh, really great mirrors. They're huge. And like, but like, I don't, I feel like this is like a modern car. It feels like I feel like I'm in my Rav4 almost, yep. where it's like just kind of what you need, what you want. You have climate controls, everything. Hundred percent. This is great. I think it has, it has some pep to it. You put your foot down a little it bit. It really does, yeah. You know, it, it holds its own. Like, there's not much body roll. Like, I was expecting this to be, like, a, you know, a big swaying car, but it really it really holds its own pretty well. Yeah, even though the shocks are gigantic. Exactly. Like, they're definitely tuned for off-roading. Yes. Uh, for it's sure. just, but it definitely, like, super compliant on the road. You don't feel like you're bouncing over bumps. It no. doesn't feel as dead solid. No. I mean, a lot of people like to compare mm -hmm. this to, like, uh, you know, like like the ride of a Jeep Wrangler. Mm. Um, you know, like my brother has a has a lifted Jeep Wrangler. Okay. Um, it's like a two and a half inch lift on 35s, and that thing's rough. It's a rough ride. You know, you, you feel every single bump. Yeah, Jeeps are also a little bit. They don't feel this nice in here. No, they don't. They definitely don't feel as good as this. This they is don't. definitely a tier above Jeep. Hundred percent. Sure. And it's uh, a it's a nice cruiser. You know, it, it really does hold its own very well. I took that corner. Pretty wow. I'm actually shocked how well that took that corner. Yeah. Right. Like, yeah. It, hand, it handles better than you'd expect. Like it's, it surprised me multiple times. Because you can turn the steering wheel and just sort of, it just goes. Yeah, it, it, really, it really does hold its own pretty well. It's any, any other truck through there would just body roll exactly. all day. Exactly. Steering is definitely something to get used to for sure. Yeah, but the engine I can get used to. It's, and this, you can definitely get used to. BMW engine just feels so smooth. It's a solid engine, it's a solid engine. And also it's reliable, like that's one of their most reliable engines exactly. from BMW. Exactly. It's not like the V8s or something from like other other cars right. that break every two seconds. Right. Because uh, I, I probably could have very, they, or Ineos probably could have very easily shoved a, you know, one of their M, like the M5 engine in this yep. thing and got like a ton of horsepower. Yeah. But it wouldn't, it, it you wouldn't it want It doesn't that. need it. It doesn't need, need it. it. And it makes this car very serviceable too. The B58 yeah. is something that's relatively common. Mm. Um, I so. that's, a, that's a concern of Ineos probably, of like people worrying about yes. like maintainability, exactly. parts availability. Exactly. Because there's only 16 dealerships, I believe, nationwide. Okay. Yeah. Um, you know, this one, we're, we're Curry uh, based in Danbury, but we're the only one in Connecticut. There's one in Boston, mm. there's one in Philly, um, and that's pretty much it. Service is definitely something that people are concerned about, but because of the um, compatibility with BMW and everything, it makes this very serviceable, which yeah. I think is important. Which I think that also overcomes the big thing with a lot of people for buying low volume manufacturers of just being like, well, it's, this company's brand new, why not go over, why go for this over a Mercedes Benz mm -hmm. or something like that. Um, but this definitely feels like, uh, unlike the G Wagons, we've driven a G Wagon before, check out that video if you haven't already. Uh, but we've, it, we've, you, that's a luxury vehicle. That's absolutely right. like way more luxury. It's obviously with the G63, very fast. This is a true off-roader. Right. You can off-road in the G Wagon, kind of, but this is the one that I feel like has bridging the gap between a Jeep and a G wagon. Yeah, yeah. It's meant to it's meant to have purpose. It's meant to be something that you can take on and off the road, on, on the road. It's yeah. uh, out of the box, perfect off roader. That's what this is meant to be. Interesting. Yeah, because I can totally imagine just driving this truck Vermont and yeah. going through the hills exactly. and like go camping. Exactly. This would be the perfect vehicle for that. Exactly. You know, anything from taking out, you know, in the snow off-roading to taking it to the beach in Nantucket. Because uh, you got a bunch of space in the back. You have a ton of like room, carry five people, no problem. Right. Um, and like, it's comfortable, spacious. It's not. You know what? Also, one thing I was worried about uh, was the wind noise. Yeah. It's a boxy vehicle. It is a boxy vehicle. But I, I don't. 
it's not noticeable. We're not going that fast. We're right. like maybe 50. You'll at definitely most, hear it but... some more when you're on the highway and stuff like that. But like mm. you said, it's a it's a boxy, not very aerodynamic vehicle. You know, yeah, you're, so you're gonna you're gonna get that. Gas mileage suffers a little bit. It's like 15, right? <laughs> uh, yeah, it is. It is around 15, um, which isn't great. But well, you know what? It's like I mean, come on. How often are you really like? You're said it's not daily driver. Like, why right. would you? Right. You're not commuting in this. You're gonna yeah, exactly. be commuting in your. You're a, bit, a banker, bit, coming in a Tesla, right. taking this to the Vermont, to the hills for right. the weekend. I'm actually impressed. This actually feels way more solid to drive than I think I thought it would. Yeah. Um, and like, from definitely from a manufacturer that has, it, frankly, no no credentials. Like it's That's like true. It true. popped about out of nowhere. Yeah. Good job. Great job. Yeah. Actually, yeah. really, really surprised. It's a solid vehicle for sure. And you know, for me coming from a guy who's uh, you know into sports cars, into being going low or being low, mm -hmm. going fast, um, <laughs> it's a super solid vehicle. You it's know? a different kind of thrill. Like it we, is. we've driven sports cars before on this channel, but like you, I mean, like you said, it, the different kind of experience. You get to go off road, whereas like a you can't do that in a Lambo. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. It's true. It's true. This whole time of year is so great, um, and definitely as we go into winter, this is like. A pretty good option if you need something off road and you want to, especially northeast winters. 100%. Snow, no problem. Yeah. Uh, flooding, who cares? You know. Sure. Oh, I didn't mention the snorkel. That's such a cool feature. That is such a cool feature. Yeah. <laughs> that, that comes specific on the Trial Master version. Oh, um, right. So this is the middle tier. Yes. Yes. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. Um, and that's just basically meant to increase the weighting depth a little bit. Mm, um, a lot of bigs. Super high. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And for the price point, it kind of it fits in and it makes sense, you know. This starts at yeah. 79. With, and, uh, with options, it's probably going to be mid to high 80s. Which is definitely like, that's almost less than I thought it would be, yeah. to be quite honest. A lot of people I thought, thought it would be, like be way more expensive. Yeah. yeah. Like, this is so attainable for someone who wants like a good off roader yeah. on a weekend. You know? Yeah, 100%. 100%. Well, dude, thank you so much for letting me take it out. This yeah, is awesome. Of course, no problem. We're at all. pulling back into New Canaan. Time to give Dom a try. Yes. Handbrake. Button. Right, yep. you got it. I guess it's a BMW. But oh it's wow, like, steering steering is definitely interesting. I do like it though. I feel when you take when you take sharp turns, you gotta like really you gotta crank it out. Yeah, it's like a, it's like an old muscle car. Exactly. Cool. I'm used to, I'm used to those. But wow, this thing I feel like I'm sitting on the roof. But it it feels like I don't have to worry about anything. Right. Wow, it's this a solid is, car. Yeah, for sure. The speedo right there is actually way more intuitive than I thought it would be. Yeah, like it's it's, it's just something a glance. you gotta get used to for sure. But um, it's still it, it's not as out of the way as you'd expect. Yeah, I mean this thing doesn't drive huge. I expected it to drive like a big tank. Yeah. Oh yeah, you really do have to turn the steering more than you think. Hundred percent. But it's, it's, it's all for a purpose, you know. It, it's got. I believe it's called uh, kingpin ball joints. Yeah, uh, on the on the steering column, steering rack, whatever. Um, so when you're off roading, you know you don't want to have to keep on constantly overcorrecting. Yeah. Oh. Um, it pretty much it has a, has a purpose to be like that. Brakes feel very nice. Yes, they're Brembos. <laughs> Which Brembos is cool. in your luxury off roader. Yes, exactly. And then you put your foot down. It's got. Very good pickup. It does got good pickup for being a six thousand pound car. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. It's I, you got all your warning lights over yes, here. Exactly. So it's just everything you need when you want it. Exactly. Oh my god. I actually really like how this thing drives. Yeah. And the shifts actually aren't that aggressive. No, like, it's not. It's it's not it's not like <laughs> this this reminds me I the first car I ever learned manual on was a 66 Impala SS. Mm. And this the, the steering just reminds me of that. Yeah. Oh my God. You hear the turbo too. Yeah, you hear the turbo noise. Very short gear ratios, I like that. Yeah. Really banging out, it's eight speeds. And honestly, I'm not speeding. It's It feels, feels good at this speed. It does. Like it feels natural. You can, you can put your hands really anywhere on the wheel. Yep. Feels good. You got your little toot button instead of the big horn. Yeah. <laughs> so is is the to the toot's the st small horn and yes. then this is the big That's horn. The big horn. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah. It's cool. So that's for in town. This is if you're really mad at somebody. Exactly, exactly. You can yeah. really wail on it if you're really mad at someone, or just give a little. If there's a biker. It's like hello. Yeah. Doo -doo. Doo -doo. <laughs> they think it's this little little itty bitty car, and then you see it's this massive, <laughs> massive, massive deer. Yeah. 
yeah, in terms of something to just, you know, be driving around town, it's actually, it's, it's nicer than, it, it, than you think. Yeah, it, it makes, it makes sense. I don't, I don't know how else to describe it besides that. It just, it just makes sense. It does make sense. So it's got wireless CarPlay. It does have wireless CarPlay. Oh, that's so nice. Yeah, so you get all, you know, the, the retro feel of all the switches yeah, and stuff like that. But you also everything. have all the creature comforts like Apple CarPlay. Yeah. Wow. This is, this is so impressive. I love the compass in the middle. Yes. Altimeter with the compass. Altimeter. Yeah. Cool. Wow, this I I'm I'm just shocked at how well this thing drives, and everything you can like just sit back and, and relax. These, these it, are Carl bucket seats, yeah. so they you know they do feel good. Yeah, and taking a corner a little bit fast handles it good. Yeah, I didn't even lift on I barely lifted on that. There's not as much body roll as you'd expect on a yeah. truck like this. You'd expect there to be a ton. Yeah, and then the brakes very easy to modulate. A little bit to get used to. Yeah. All the stocks. Yeah. Everything. This thing would be so fun going through the desert. 100%. Exactly yeah. what it's made for. You know. That. So I'm about to test the park. The parking. Oof. So. So you go here. Yeah. So let's let's try and let's try and park this thing. Shouldn't be that hard to park. No. This thing's. Not the best backup camera. That's yeah, something that we'll see. We'll see some changes camera. with that and some software updates in the future. Yeah, and then it's a hardware changing. And then, boom! I mean, you're in there. That is surprisingly good. Usually, for trucks this big, it's a lot harder to park. Right. And then, you, if you want, you can lock your diffs, and then it's really exactly, hard to park. exactly. exactly. <laughs> It's got it's got sensors and everything though. It does like, have sensors? Yeah. Got it. This specific one doesn't have sensors in the front, but that is an option. Got it. Oh, right through the stop sign. Wow. Don't need those anymore, I guess. No, I don't need those because you're texting, so it's fine. I mean, I was I was reading on the website that they use these as fleet vehicles mm. for some companies, mm -hmm. right? Yep, exactly. This would be an awesome fleet vehicle in the middle of nowhere. You got to get there no matter what. Yep. And you can just use it. Yep. I, I love the fact that they're gonna make a pickup truck version of this. That's gonna be really it, cool. When it when if and when it comes out, I will 100% buy one of these. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, and you can come in and do uh, do a review on it when we get it. Yes, please. This thing has genuinely shocked me with how with how good it feels. Yeah, you you expect it to drive and feel like it's a. Uh, you expect it to drive and feel like a brick. Exactly. But it's but it's it, it, it feels solid. It yeah. feels solid like a brick. But I mean. This is these are New England back roads. These roads are terrible. Yes. And it's just to say the stuff in the trunk. my stuff in the trunk. <laughs> and it's just it's just going through them. I, I don't feel any of the bumps in the steering or anything. It's it's great. It's smooth. Yeah. I'm, I'm glad you liked it because yeah, you, I, I mean, really you're, like you're it. You're really one of the first people in the U.S. to really drive these. You know. We, yeah. We only got these three weeks ago. I mean, I'm in high school and I'm driving. One of the first of these in the U.S. Yeah, I mean, this is just so so awesome. Just oh, it does cool. have cruise. It does have cruise control. That's nice. Is it uh, like adaptive or? I don't. I don't believe so. I haven't tried it yet. Maybe maybe on the on the, uh, nicer, the one. nicer one. Yeah, the more it's definitely possible road oriented one. Yeah, it's definitely possible. Cruise control through the desert. <laughs> just yeah, I'm going up a hill. Keep the speed. Come on. I, f I find it interesting that they didn't go with an electric because. I mean, everybody, when they see this, oh, it's electric, it's electric. No, it's not. It's better. It looks like it could be. It could be. It, I'm glad it's not, though. I'm, I'm very glad it isn't. Cause I'm not a fan of electric. I'm not, I'm not a huge fan of electric. I mean, my mom has a Tesla, mm. and I think it drives like a piece of crap. Mm -hmm. Man. Yeah, steering is definitely something to get used to. 100%. You, you turn... You turn more than you think you have to, and then you don't turn enough. Then that's it. Correct it. Yeah. I, I I love this thing so much. I actually really want one. <laughs> this how is it on the highway? Is it is? I'm it, assuming comfortable. It cruises well, absorbs yeah. the bumps well. There's definitely some road days, especially with these off-road tires. Yeah, but the, it's I also mean, it's a box. It is a wheels. box. So Can, for a box, it. this thing is amazing. Yeah. It feels so so confident in it like I feel huge yeah it's it's so good it's, the it sound the deadening, well. it does in everything just stops to take a look at it mm -hmm. 
Because most people don't even know what this is right now. No, exactly. Oh, that's uh, the same one we saw. Yeah. This thing is, un thank you so much. Yeah, of course, no problem this at all. Thing is, I'm gonna try and make this in one turn. Thank you so much for taking a drive with us. We had so much fun. This thing's, this thing's so awesome. It thing is so badass. It's, it's actually it's, such a cool, I love the shape. I love how it drives. It's just such a weird like mix of a lot of like old and modern stuff. Yeah. Super cool. Big, huge shout out to Michael from Ineos who brought it here with us today. He's off camera, but uh, <laughs> we, uh, we really appreciate it, man. And uh, we're gonna stop here. Subscribe for more stuff like just like this. We were, I guess we're doing new cars now. Yeah. That's pretty sick. That's awesome. Uh, yeah, so subscribe, join us for that, and uh, we'll have see a you great next day. time. Thanks. Thank you.